What's going on guys, Living Good Zombies here, back with another Pokemon Scarlet Violet video, and in today's video guys, we are still talking about DLC 1, the Teal Mask. We are talking about guys, how to catch, as you see right here, the legendary Pokemon Ogre Pond, which again, I love this legendary Pokemon, I love the backstory behind it, and I also love how it can also change forms in the game too. So yeah, how do you guys catch Ogre Pond and get him on your squad? Well, in the DLC storyline guys, you want to make it past the part where you of course take down the three, the loyal three legendary Pokemon in their Titan form, uh, you know, when they're big and they have that big HP bar. Once you defeat all three of those in their Titan form and you visit the village with Ogre Pond and the town now welcomes Ogre Pond to the village, you guys will be taken back to the dreaded den, as you see right here, and yes, you will have to battle Kiki, and whoever wins that battle does get to catch Ogre Pond. But once you guys win the battle, it's not that simple. You will have to battle Ogre Pond while he's wearing each and every one of its four different masks, which again is not too challenging. But yeah, you guys will have to battle every single mask form of Ogre Pond, so I will be playing some clips for you guys right now of me taking down all four different masked Ogre Pond during those battles. Like I said, I mean, it wasn't too, too hard, but it was sick seeing all of the different masks on Ogre Pond in their Terra form too. So yeah, it was a pretty fun battle. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys also right now, you see how the Ogre Pond is red and yellow and that maroon color. Once you guys do also catch Ogre Pond, he will give you every single mask as well to hold in your bag. Now, where can you see those masks in your bag? The same section as your XP candy, rare candies, and other evolution items. So if you guys go all the way down here, we should see those masks pop up in just a second. They should be just a little bit further down, and there we go. We have a few right here. We have the Cornerstone Mask and also the Wellspring Mask too. Now, I think if you remove them, he has the Teal Mask, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, if I were to give him the Cornerstone Mask, uh, give to a Pokemon, and we can also just give this to the Ogre Pond right here, and we can swap it, swap it out, and then once we back out, you guys are gonna see, he's gonna change form. And there he goes. So now he did transform into the, of course, cornerstone form. So that is such a cool feature of the Ogre Pond. I do love that a lot. And here is the other form, the blue form right here. That also looks very good too. And then if you guys do check your Ogre Pond with that respected mask, check the summary. Because yes, it's typing does change guys. Now it's a water type. Uh, the cornerstone mask was rock type and the red mask I believe was uh, fire type too. So yeah, the typing changes, the Terra typing changes as you guys change the mask on Ogre Pond. Again, it looks absolutely amazing. I love this feature for this legendary Pokemon. It makes me like the Pokemon so much more. But yeah, guys, again, once you advance enough in the storyline, which again, it doesn't really take you that long to advance that much in the storyline. But again, once you take down those three loyal legendary Pokemon in their Titan form, you guys will be able to catch Ogre Pond soon after that. And yes, it does give you the masks and that's how you change the form of Ogre Pond. You just give it to Ogre Pond as a held item and it will automatically transform into that mask with a different typing and also a different Terra typing as well. So. Such a cool legendary, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below about this legendary Pokemon. Are you guys a fan of Ogre Pond or not? Let me know. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like in the video. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.